Welcome everybody to a review of the second film in the Essential Film Noir Collection 4 box set. And uh, yeah, after the really rather uh, solid start with Rope of Sand, we have 1950s Appointment with Danger. So uh, yeah, this is directed by Lewis Allen, who also did a couple of other film noirs like Suddenly and A Bullet for Joey. And this got us an 89 minutes long, so significantly shorter than the first film, Rope of Sand. And yeah, it stars Alan Ladd, who was in numerous film noirs from the time, like This is Gun, this Gun for Hire, The Blue Dahlia, The Glass Key, and Calcutta. Also stars Phyllis Calver, who we've already talked about, well, we've talked about another film with her, I didn't actually mention her because she was in a rather smaller role than this, but she was in Twisted Nerve, which was recently reviewed. And uh, yeah, also stars Paul Stewart, who was in a, other film noirs like Kiss Me Deadly, which is absolutely superb. If you've never seen that before, then get your hands on it as well as Deadline USA and the really rather excellent Chicago Syndicate. And finally stars Jan Sterling, who was in the likes of The Harder They Fall, Split Second and The Female Animal. And yet yeah, Al Goddard, played by Alan Ladd, is a detective who works for the United States Postal Inspection Service, who is assigned to arrest two criminals who have allegedly murdered a US postal detective. So uh, yeah, this is another really rather enjoyable film in the world to star Alan Ladd, who is once again really rather good. Speaking of Alan Ladd, he's never been in a top tier film in a while, but he's always been at a really, really good level. Um, typically four out of five or three and a half out of five. He's never nosedived um, in terms of my, in, in terms of what I've seen, you know, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, yeah, the supporting cast is also solid and the pacing is on point. The plot is also generally engrossing, despite I'm sure it taking liberties with what a postal inspector is actually able to do, especially from the uh, 19 foot. Uh, 40s and 1950s. It was overall engrossing while there is some solid, solid tension especially when our lead character goes undercover. Uh, the finale has a bit of fun action, it's got a nice fight scene and a little bit of a shootout. It's overall well shot in terms of the cinematography and the editing and the score is also well done. So uh, yeah it's overall a really really solid effort. A little bit more basic than um, Rope of Sand which had a lot more undergoing on it in terms of you know torture and past uh, instances coming back to haunt people in the present and the like but still this is overall really really rather good and uh, yeah overall able to match the other efforts from Alan Ladd that I've seen or exceed other efforts from him that I've seen as well because like I said some have given three and a half out of five for him but this one's definitely a solid four out of five which matches you know the likes of the Blue Dahlia and this Gun for Hire which are also really rather equally good film noir efforts so uh yeah, this box set is start, uh, is looking like a really, really overall solid effort. So, um, I gave Rope of Sand 4 out of 5, and this has also got 4 out of 5. And uh, yeah, quite frankly, we're 2 for 2 at the moment. So hopefully the 3rd, 4th and 5th films can keep up that quality or exceed that quality. So yeah, nonetheless though, if you've seen this film before, I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.